Hi everybody, Jim from County Corvette. I have a 2000 Corvette convertible, six speed in bowling green metallic and a light oak interior. The car is under 40,000 miles. It's a well optioned car. As I said, it's a six speed, but it's got the sport power seats, memory package, head up display, tilt uh, uh, telesco electric telescoping wheel, and um, there was something else. And it was about $4,000 worth of options. I have the, uh, the build sheet right here. So it's the standard wheels. Now, we got the car in and had been sitting for some time, not, not really used all that much. And it, it needed you know, a list of things. Now, we did uh, new tires. We put new, um, new Continentals on it. The old tires were good, but they were just, they were old and we won't pass inspection if they're, if they're too old. Uh, wiper blades, um, you know, I have a list. I'm gonna read you the list because it, it, it's, you know, it's not, there was one major thing in here, what I would consider major, and that was an AC compressor. Uh, it was making noise and I just, I didn't wanna sell it that way. Um, so we replaced that with, a, with an AC Delco unit and, you know, recharged it and all that. Uh, a battery. The sway bar end links, uh, there's a, a retrofit out there now, and uh, we just replace all of them. I, I think I said wiper blades, air filter, you know, the, the, the typical stuff. One key fob was inoperable. Cigarette lighter socket uh, wasn't, uh, wasn't working right, so we, we did that. And uh, the brake and clutch fluid needed to be done, that's pretty typical. But the car overall was in, was in excellent shape. Um, I think the bumper cover was painted on it, the front bumper cover. I, I'm kind of a nudge for texture. It's really good. Uh, my, we had a little debate going in the body shop as to whether it was or wasn't. And that's good. There's, it's a clean Carfax on the car, but you know, I want to present it for what it is. Um, and when you get into this mileage, it's still under 50,000, but you know, this is a 21 year old car. This is when you can start to run into problems with cars where, you know, you get it, you, you think you got a great deal on it and it needs everything that we did to this car, which, you know, it starts to add up. So, you know, that's something to consider. And, you know, when we, when, when we get these cars, we, we really try to go through them. We have a checklist and, and we do, you know, what's required to make it right. Um, I'm not gonna say I don't miss things from time to time. I know I did a, I did a car a while back and it was a mid seventies car, an, an air car. And we went through it, charged the AC and it worked good. And it was a, it was a spring uh, day when we tested. It was a little cool and, and uh, it ended up not working and, and, and I had to deal with that with the customer. Even though it was an as-is sale, you know, these things should work, but now that's a 40, oh geez, a 45 year old AC system. You know, you're, you're, you're way past its, its, its life expectancy, but you know, these systems, uh, parts are available and I'm confident this should last a long, long time well into the future and this should be a good trouble free car for whoever gets it so we've gone over this thing in good faith and you know I, I i've always loved this color combination you got great options so it's a great great car for the money this car was just under fifty thousand new and you know we're, we're under half of that and, and it's still you know more than half the car so anyway uh overall condition the seats are really nice these these things got really discolored quick but they you know they look good uh, we, we did detail this thing nicely and you know i think it looks looks excellent it is the original top and this car sat inside it was an indoor kept car so you know that top really tells you the story on it but the paint is, is nice on it and uh yeah, it's just a sharp car so we'll take you out for a ride in it and uh if, uh, if it goes to PA, it'll get a fresh PA state inspection sticker. I know that expired in 2000, but it's ready. It's ready to go, and I'm going to show you. So let's go for a ride. Okay, we're all warmed up here. And it's a beautiful day. I think I'm going to kill this AC here. So in the spirit of everybody being able to hear me a little bit better. 
Now one of the things that's common with these cars now is these headlights motors stop working and these really work well. And this car's nice and tight with these new tires. This thing's smooth as silk. This generation car, C5, the Corvette shall I say, was really the first Corvette that had, you know, sound deadening convertible top. These cars you could drive all year long, you know, given road conditions. But temperature-wise, uh, these these tops really do insulate well. They insulate sound and temperature really beautifully. So, and I know I said earlier how, how nice this top was, but that's indicative of, of how a car is kept. And if the top was kept down, it trashed the tops uh, equally. So this, this part was really nicely kept. I'm going to say it was always garaged. It doesn't have a lot of owners. I think it was a two-owner car. I'll check the car facts on it, but it is, uh, it is from what I can see, a really well-kept car. So I think this is a car that's going to last its uh, next owner, you know, well into the future. This is the way to, to buy one of these cars. Obviously, like I said, we, we've gone through it and done the appropriate things that were needed. And I can tell you, that's not, that's not all the cars out there that you can see. It's not, the, it's not the standard. I was looking at a car for my mother during the week and went out to look at a car. I'm not going to tell you what it was or who it was and all that. I'm not going to slam other dealers, but... When I called, I said, I, yeah, I'm a car dealer. I'm a, actually a mechanic by trade. And, you know, I'm looking for something good and reliable. It's a used car. And, you know, I got the song and dance. Oh, yeah, we go through the cars. We, we have our PPI, you know, and, you know, pre-shop inspection, whatever the heck they were calling it. And I said, oh, great. You know, can I get a copy of that? Yeah, we don't have copies of that, blah, blah, blah. There's a red line, 6,000 RPM. This transmission and an engine, smooth as silk. That's right up to 70 miles an hour. I'm looking to go a whole lot faster than that. So, yeah, this thing runs as it should. Anyway, back to my story. I know you want to hear about the car, not, not my story, but the story is important because we have a checklist that we go through, and I'm willing to share that with you and show the things that were, you know, not working correctly and what we did to correct it. And that particular car that I looked at, it was, it was, forgive the expression, it was total bullshit. Because when I got there, the, the AC didn't work, the car had a, a host of problems, the car wasn't, it was filthy dirty, and the guy completely, BS me. Now, maybe it was an honest mistake, and I'll, I'll, I'll hope that it was. And again, I'm not going to get into, you know, how other dealers do things, but I want you to know how we do things, and, you know, that that is how we do it. We, we go through the car. I have my mechanics go through it. The first thing I'll do with a car is, you know, I buy everything. So I'm going to look at a car, and... I bought it myself and I'm going to go check everything. I'm going to check the air, check the lights and all this stuff, check for some collision damage. I will have already, you know, looked at a Carfax before I bought it. And anything else, you can help me make an educated decision on buying it. And then on top of that, I'm going to have a technician go through it on a lift. You know, I can't buy cars, uh, you know, typically and, and put them on a lift and all that. I've got to crawl around the, on the ground and all that. Sometimes, you know, and, I, and that's actually not fair because a lot of our cars come from our customers and they're willing to let us uh, look at them and we already know the car, but we'll still do our inspection on it and, and do it in good faith and fix anything that we think is, you know, let's go in first gear there, champ. Anyway, fix things that are necessary. And this car has been, those things have been done. So I'll tell you what, this is a good car for the money. It doesn't need anything. And it's a great color combination. 
and should make, make somebody a great driver for many, many, many more years. So give us a call. Let us know if you're interested. We take trades and we'd be happy to discuss it. Give uh, Ed Kavetsky or myself a call and we'll get you into this thing if you're looking for a good C5. This is a great entry level Corvette for the first time buyer. You really, you, you really just can't go wrong with a good C5 at this point. So let us know and uh, we'd really love to make you a customer of County Corvette as well. Thanks for watching my video and listening to my stories.